Xu Chen is one of only a few people elected to all four U.S. national academies, the National Academy of Sciences, of Engineering, the Institute of Medicine, and the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Now he has added another important honor to his name, winner of the National Medal of Science. Chen, a professor of bioengineering and medicine at the University of California, San Diego, is one of seven scientists named as medal recipients by the White House Office of Science and Technology. He'll receive his medal at a White House ceremony later this fall. Chen directs UC San Diego's Institute of Engineering and Medicine, an institute designed to translate creative ideas into clinical medicine and novel products that will transform patient care and improve health and well-being. In his own research, Chen has made seminal contributions to the field of physiology, notably on the way blood flow impacts the cardiovascular system and in the development of therapeutic approaches to cardiovascular disease. We have now incorporated all the modern uh, approaches, not only molecular biology nowadays like nanotechnology, system biology. These are marvelous uh, new developments, and physiology is able to uh, absorb all of these. We still keep on our basic inquiry of the basic mechanisms of function of the body, particularly the human body, and what goes wrong in disease, the pathophysiology of that. That's our fundamental core value. But we must continuously incorporate all of these new approaches, so we're always up to date. Chen received a Ph.D. in physiology at Columbia University. Earlier, he did pre-med studies at National Peking University until the family fled China ahead of the Communist Revolution. Ultimately, Chen earned his M.D. from National Taiwan University, then went to Columbia, where he joined the faculty and stayed for 30 years. In 1967, Chen co-authored three high-profile articles in the journal Science on the deformability and aggregation of red blood cells. In 1987, he took an extended sabbatical to set up Taiwan's Institute of Biomedical Sciences. The Institute's faculty and staff went from zero to nearly 200 in just 18 months. From the moment he returned to Columbia, leaders of the brand new bioengineering program at UCSD, Y.C. Fung and Benjamin Zweifach, lobbied hard for Chen and his closest collaborators to go west. In 1988, Chen became a professor of bioengineering and medicine at UCSD with a cadre of fellow Columbia researchers, including longtime collaborator Richard Scalak. Chen brought cellular and molecular approaches to bioengineering. Then in 1994, when UCSD created a new department of bioengineering, Chen became its founding chair. Ever since, UCSD has ranked among the top two or three bioengineering programs in the nation with the number one Ph.D. program, according to a National Research Council survey. Meanwhile, Chen has remained a prolific researcher and author of more than 500 peer-reviewed journal articles and the editor of 11 books. In 2002, he was named a university professor, a distinction held by only 20 faculty members in the entire University of California system. In addition to membership in the four U.S. national academies, Chen was elected to Taiwan's Academia Sinica and the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing. He is a past president of many leading U.S. organizations, notably the American Physiological Society, the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering, the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology, and the Biomedical Engineering Society most recently. At UC San Diego, Chen holds the Y.C. Fung Endowed Chair in Bioengineering, the chair named for the longtime mentor who brought Chen to San Diego in the first place. Chen is also the founding director of the UC System-Wide Bioengineering Institute of California. In December 2009, Taiwan's president bestowed on Chen the Presidential Science Prize for Life Sciences, making Chen the first scientist living outside of Taiwan to be so honored. Now winning the National Medal of Science in his adopted homeland is icing on the cake for Xu Chen. And even though he turned 80 years old in June, he shows no sign of slowing down.